hi everyone welcome back to my channel if you are new here welcome and if you are old here welcome back if you know you have you have not subscribed to my channel please do kindly subscribe so that you get notified anytime i upload a new video in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to design a short flyer so let's get started select new then go to print then select a5 paper size then you create so this is our designing background import this background image then you scale it out then go back to the bottom then you scale it out then go back again import this image then i'm going to leave it at this position go to your blur gaussian blur then enter 66.8 then reduce the opacity to 65 all right then change the blending mode to soft light then i'm going to import this background image then drag it up scale it out a bit all right then change the blending mode to soft light and reduce the opacity to 15 then bring this flare here then take it to the left top corner of this area then change the mode to screen then while you go to your blur gaussian blur then enter 44.3 okay now i'm going to import this brush this is splash brushed so rasterize it select your magic tool then you click here delete it press ctrl plus d to deselect then now change the blending mode to soft light then i'm going to apply hue and saturation Then I'm going to enter this number minus 86. Then the second one, I'm going to enter plus 87. So you can see the changes there. And the last one is 100%. That's plus 100. Then apply clipping mask. So, do, so that the effect will only affect the splash brush there. Now, select your test tool or you press T on the keyboard. Now, I'm going to type worship. Then, scale it out. Select your test tool again, then I'm going to change the font. So I'm using this font TWSENMT.
Now you scale it out again. Then apply vertical alignment. So go to your blending option. Then you go to bevel and emboss. Then the depth should be 115. And the size three. Then the contour, make use of this contour. Then make sure that your you are using inner bevel and smooth. Then go back to your drop shadow. So your drop shadow make sure is multiply then opacity is 85 distance 6 spread 5 and the size is 8 okay so this is our background Then I'm going to draw a red angle here. So you can see how it is. Then apply this corner shape. Then apply this color code. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then import your church logo. Reduce the size. Then you drag it up there. Then position it over here. Okay. Select your test tool, then I'm going to type the name of the church. Then use the font railway. Make it bold. They bring it down a little. Duplicate it, Ctrl plus J. Then I'm going to type present. Okay. Then I'm going to change the font to Barcelona. Then apply vertical alignment, Ctrl plus D to click select. Then you scale it out to increase the size. Then I'm going to apply this yellow column. Then apply a drop shadow. Then leave it at multiply the opacity 85 then distance 6, spread 5, and the size 8. Then click OK. Then use your arrow key to move it up.
then you duplicate the test here then ctrl plus c to copy ctrl plus v to paste then increase the size and rotate it small And I'm going to shift it over here to create a space. Okay. Then you duplicate the test here. Ctrl plus J to duplicate. Then I'm going to type 2.0. Now reduce the size, then you bring it over here, also reduce the size, alright, Okay, now the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to import my image, which is the pastors, then reduce the size, I will position it around here for now. Then also bring this one. So that is to flip it horizontal. Now I'm going to apply adjustment. So I'm going to bright the image there. Okay. So you can see the differences now. It's more bright, brighter than before. Then I'm going to import this one also. Reduce the size. Then group it together and apply vertical alignment. Increase the size. Then rename it for identification. Now I'm going to draw a rectangle before any further adjustment. Then I'm going to copy this color code. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then Ctrl plus J to duplicate it. Then I'm going to reduce the size of this one while holding down my Shift key. You can also do this by holding down your Alt key 
and then you reduce the size. Now I'm going to select the two layer, then duplicate it, Ctrl plus J. So one refuse to duplicate, then I'm going to duplicate it again. Apply vertical alignment. Then use your arrow key to move it back. Then Ctrl plus J or you drag it down there to duplicate. Then you take it over here. So now I'm going to adjust this image, then increase the size. So it has been centralized now. And I'm going to apply a brightness effect to that image there. Okay. So you can see this image here. It's not equal again. I made a mistake while reducing the size. I did not include the one at the top. to increase it okay so then now i'm going to delete this one then duplicate this one and drag it over here then i will drag it up so that it will be at the top then select the two layer apply vertical alignment then use your arrow key to bring it closer to order. Now apply your layer mask to that image. Then you blend here. Then also apply your layer mask to the second image. That is the first one. Then you blend here. So the, the work image at the middle so our rectangle design has covered that one, so we don't need to blend that one. Now select the first background there. Then I'm going to import this image. Reduce the size. Then now hold your Alt key and create a clipping mask. Then apply bright brightness and your constructs. Then you click OK. So you can see the difference now. Then I'm going to also import this one. For disclaimer, please. This image I'm using in this tutorial is for learning purpose only. So there is no such any program holding in anywhere. Okay, then apply your clipping mask like i said this image is for tutorial purposes there is no any program holding 
So I'm doing this for a tutorial purpose. Disclaimer be aware. Then apply screen. Then I'll position it at the middle here. Then reduce it. Also reduce the top. Then leave it like this. Then I'm going to apply Gaussian blur. Then make it 5%. Click OK. Then Ctrl plus J to duplicate it. Then drag it over here. Then I'm going to draw a rectangle line here. Then change the color to red. Then apply corner shape. Then position it around here. Make sure it is centralized. Apply your vertical alignment to centralize it. Then I want to reduce it. Circle like this. Then I'm going to draw another print angle. Then I will leave the color red. Then apply vertical alignment. As you can see, then I apply a round corner shape just the way we did to the first one. Then I'm going to copy this test here. Ctrl plus V to paste. Then position a test here. Okay. Then apply vertical alignment. Now drag it to the top of the images. All right. Change the font. Then reduce the test size. Then I'm going to draw a right angle here. For the guest speaker name. Then I'm going to apply this color here. Ctrl plus V to Paste the color code you copy, then apply a corner shape to the right angle, reduce the opacity, then go to your test to copy the name, Ctrl plus C to copy. Select your test to Ctrl plus V to paste. Then reduce the font size and drag it over here.
then remove okay so after arranging it this way then you duplicate it and i'll position this one yeah it's okay then select the test go to your test and copy the name ctrl plus c then alight the test ctrl plus v to paste increase the font size Now, what I did is to duplicate it, then I drag it down. Then select it, then you drag it over the ear. Select the test, then go back and copy the name then alight the name and control plus v to paste now i'm going to expand the right angle by dragging it down while holding down my shift key then i'm going to duplicate the test here and drag it down then copy your test host then I like this one ctrl plus v to paste then I'm going to change the color to red expand it more then bring it to the center now i'm going to make it more bolder that is extra bold then adjust the rent angle all right so that one is okay like that expand the logo okay so let's continue now now i'm going to draw a rectangle here I change the color to red then apply corner shape then copy this test here ctrl plus c to copy select your test to ctrl plus v to paste Then reduce the size. I'm going to rotate it 90 degree. Apply vertical alignment. 
Then I'm going to draw another rectangle here. Also apply corner shape, change the color to red. Then copy your test here. Ctrl plus V to paste. Then increase the size of this test. Select your test, um, I mean the cycle. Duplicate the test here. You drag it over here, highlight it, then you paste it, all right. Then select the test and the ellipse, then apply horizontal alignment. So then rename it for identification. So here you copy your location, bring the location icon, then leave it around here, Control plus U using your keyboard. Then you drag this one to 100%, then you click OK. Ctrl plus V to paste it. Then reduce the font size. Then click here. and reduce the line space there also reduce the font size So here I'm going to group them all now and rename them. So I'll be first here. So we are done with that one. Okay, so now bring these highlights, then position it somewhere here. Yes, okay. Then change it to overlay. Increase it a bit, then and duplicate it.
then also duplicate it or you drag it here or you press ctrl plus j then arrange them properly then duplicate this one again ctrl plus j or you drag it over there now i'm going to select it all while holding down my shift key then merge them together go back to your blending option then you select overlay now i'm going to bring this light flare then go to your gaussian block so let's enter 66.8 then change the blending mode to screen also duplicate it then I will position this one over here So use your arrow key then to drag it over here then increase it a little bit okay So now I'm going to rename the images. So I'll be first here. All right, that is it. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share. Thank you so much for watching.